Hi everyone, thanks for stopping by. My name is Hernan. We're here at QNAP in Los Angeles, California. Today we're going to be talking about our all new 5A NAS. So it's a new revamped uh, AMD powered 5A NAS that I want to introduce to you. We're also going to do a little side by side comparison of some of the um, top brand and model NAS in the market the Synology DS 1515 and the Synology DS 1515 Plus, uh, respectively and introducing the new QNAP TS563. So uh, we've created a little side-by-side -side comparison. So we're gonna compare the hardware of each of the systems, some of the similarities and some of the differences of these units. So let's take a look. Uh, today, we're gonna start off with the CPU, the CPU of each of the systems. The TS563 comes with an AMD 64-bit quad-core two processor. The Synology DS1515 comes with an ARM 32-bit quad-core processor, and that's at 1.4 gigs. Uh, the DS1515 Plus, that comes with an Intel 64-bit Atom quad-core 2.4 gig processor. And again, we can see some of the differences and again, some of the similarities there of the CPUs. Next, let's take a look at hardware encryption. All three units do have hardware encryption, so let's look at those details. The QNAP TS563, that has uh, AES-NI hardware encryption, and that reads at 435 and writes at 416 megabytes per second. Okay, The DS1515 has the hardware encryption as well. That reads at 297 and writes at 150 megabytes per second. Next is the DS1515 Plus. Again, yes, it does have hardware encryption, and it, that reads at 445 and writes at 188 megabytes per second. So there you can see, again, some of the similarities and differences of the, of the hardware encryption engine. Next, let's look at RAM, so the memory in each of the units. The memory in the QNAP TS563, that comes with uh, two gigs of RAM, and that's upgradable to 16 gigs of RAM. The DS1515 comes with two gigs as well, but that's not upgradable. The DS1515 Plus, that one comes with two gigs, and is upgradable to six gigs of RAM. Uh, so there we have the RAM in each of the units. Next are the ports. So let's take a look at uh, the ports on each of the systems. So uh, the QNAP TS563, that comes with five USB 3.0 ports. That's four in the back, one in the front. Uh, the DS1515 comes with two USB 3.0s and two eSATAs, and those are located in the back of, each, of the unit. Um, the DS1515 comes with four USB 3.0 uh, connections, ports, and that's located in the back of the unit. Uh, next, let's look at front copy button, um, and that is only unique to the TS-563, uh, the QNAP, where you can utilize that button as an export. So uh, there we have that in the front. The other two units do not have this. Next, let's look at the LAN ports. Um, the QNAP TS-563, that comes with two giggy ports, okay? And um, you can connect a, two, a 10 gig ethernet connection uh, to these uh, gig ethernet ports um, with a total of four gigabit connections via PCI NIC cards. Uh, next is the DS1515. That one comes with four uh, gig ethernet connections and the DS1515 Plus also comes with four uh, four gig ethernet connections, ethernet connectors. So um, respectively, each of the LAN ports of the systems. Next, let's look at the ability to connect a 10 gig card into these systems. Uh, with the TS-563 from QNAP, you can connect a 10 gigabit card into the system to run on a 10 gig network. Uh, the DS-1515 doesn't have this, nor does the DS-1515 Plus. Next, let's look at PCI e-slots. So uh, the QNAP, it has one, and that's for network expansion. So you can actually expand uh, the unit, and um, with the DS1515, this is not included, and with the DS1515 Plus, it's not included as well. Um, the storage expansion of each of the units, that's ability for the units themselves to attach to other units to expand. Uh, the QNAP, that one can expand to a maximum of 21 hard drives. The Synology DS1515, that one has a max capacity of 15 hard drives 
and the DS1515 Plus. That one has a max capacity of 15 hard drives as well. So now let's look at through, throughput of each of the systems. And the throughput of the TS563 from QNAP reads at 448 and writes at 430 megabytes per second. The Synology DS1515, that one reads at 404 and writes at 422 megabytes per second. And the DS1515 Plus, that one reads at 451 and writes at 397 megabytes per second, respectively. So there you can see the, the throughput of each of the systems. Next, we're going to talk about the ability to run a Windows, Linux, or Android um, software, a VM, onto each of these systems and utilize it um, on the system itself. The QNAP TS563 has this ability and it can utilize the virtual virtualization station. Um, the DS1515 does not have this, nor does the DS1515 Plus. Now let's look at the MSRP pricing for each of the units. The QNAP TS563, that one lists at $559 US dollars. The DS1515, that one's list price at $649. The DS1515 Plus is listed at $799 US dollars. Again, respectively of each of the units. Um, again, just wanted to talk to you guys about the new, uh, the new QNAP TS563 and also do a little bit side by side comparison of, of these respectable systems as well. I hope uh, uh, you guys have taken something from this um, information. Again, some similarities, some differences of these units. I hope this helped. If you guys have any questions, comments, feel free to comment below or send us an email at usasales at qnap.com or reach us at our website at qnap.com as well. Thanks again for stopping by. My name is Hernan Lopez.